Welcome back to the Bible study. Today we are going over Galatians chapter 2 verses 11 through 21. Paul opposes Cyphers, which is Peter. Now some people apparently don't like the fact that Paul seemed to correct Peter on something. Peter's a human being. He can be corrected. Actually, Jesus did that to Peter a few times, rebuking him when he said he wouldn't die on the cross. Also, uh, when Peter was told he wouldn't deny Jesus three times, I think there's probably a few other times. So Peter is not above correction. He can get some thing, some things wrong. It's like almost like these people are holding Peter to like this godly sin. No. Anyway, uh, and this is not Catholics. Conspiracy theorists who don't like Paul. 11 through, did I already say 11 through 21? Hang on a second. When Cyprus came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face because he stood condemnation. For he, for before a certain man came from James, came from James, he used to eat with the Gentiles, but when they arrived he began to draw back <coughs> and separated himself from the Gentiles because he was afraid of those who belonged to the circumcision group. Wait, okay. So Peter was eating with the Gentiles and then didn't because he was afraid that the people, Jews, might consider him unclean. Because that's Old Testament rules. I don't think it's specifically, it may actually not be specifically stated in my something I add later. But yeah, anyway, the other Jews joined him in his hypocrisy, so that they, by their hypocrisy, even Barnabas was led astray. Like, yeah, you were eating Jew, eating with the Gentiles, <laughs> well, till other Jews came along, <laughs> and suddenly you stopped. Like, well, what about, isn't this like the state? No. No, it's not. You eat with a fellow believer because they're a fellow believer. Not because you, it doesn't matter if they're Jew, Gentile, or whatever. Well, there's only two options. They're a fellow believer, period. End of... When I saw that they were not acting in line with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cyphers in front of them all, You are a Jew, yet you live like a Gentile <coughs> and not like a Jew. How is it then that you force the Gentiles to follow Jewish customs? So apparently... Peter also was forcing Gentiles to do Jewish customs. Even though he lived like a Gentile, well, we who are Jews by birth and not sensible Gentiles know that a person is not justified by works by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. So we, so we too, have put our faith in Christ Jesus, that we may be justified by faith in, there's a note, or, but through the faithfulness of, justified on the basis of the faithfulness of, 
Christ and not by the works of the law, because by the works of the law no one will be justified. Yeah, you're not saved by the work by works. Because you'll never be justified that way. But Jay, go watch Mike Wainer's video. <laughs> if you think that. James is actually saying the opposite, most ironically. But we're not two James, we're on Galatians. So please keep saying <laughs> Do Galatians. <laughs> but if, in speaking, to be justified in Christ, we Jews find ourselves uh, also among the sinners, doesn't that mean that Christ promotes sin? Absolutely not. If I rebuild what I destroyed, then I would, I really would be a lawbreaker. For though, for through the law I died to the law so that I might live with God, I even been crucified with Christ and no longer live. No, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not see, I do not sit aside the grace of God, for if righteousness could be, Game through the law, Christ died for nothing. Some interpretations in the quotation marks after verse 14. Interesting. Christ, if righteousness could be gained through the law, Sorry. So if you had to do anything in the law to be saved, or do anything else to be saved other than, well, repent, which is accepting Jesus, accepting you have sinned, accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, which is, is repentance, then Christ died for nothing. Doesn't mean you still can't do good things. You should. That's what I'm doing. Thank, thanks, thanks. And just helping out people. And because you just can't do. Why? But it's interesting what Paul says here. <laughs>